everyone welcome back to my beach angel tarot shop i'm here to do my full moon and lunar eclipse in libra with archangel michael for love romance partnership and twin flame relationships so i'm gonna use his deck the archangel michael deck to get an opening message and then i will be using my most favorite deck the fortune reading cards to do the rest of the reading and i will be using my angel five card placement to guide the energies and guide his messages for this time period so i'm focusing on his messages i'm focusing on his energy and this is a general message do keep that in mind and i feel it's this one is sticking out and it says your home is protected by angels so i'm going to read it and see what comes from his message it says archangel michael thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants i ask that you Post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, and or taxes. So, the part of this, so you can easily afford. It's like, um, you can easily afford something. Um, it's not about finances. This is about relationships. The price you pay. Um, hearing him say the price you pay so you can easily afford to pay for your rent your mortgage and your taxes and that's the price you pay for security okay but he wants you to be feeling like you can easily pay so there's an energy exchange here of give and take so you gain the feeling of security within your partnership but some may feel like they're paying too high of a price okay because I'm really getting messages in different ways and that's exactly what he's saying here. Um, he's guiding me, the words are changing themselves for the energies and so this is all about that. So you feel like, for some you may feel like you're paying too high of a price to feel that energies of security within your union, within your relationship. There's a, there's a feeling of energy exchange here going on um, and so and thank you for guiding my finances. So he, it's guiding those energies so that you can easily feel you the price you're paying isn't too overwhelming because there's something going on with that. So he's going to help work those energies so you feel like you're not maybe giving too much and not receiving enough in return. That energy exchange, that flow is coming here. So he's saying thank you for guiding my finances, which in this case is the energies um, of you know, feeling that you can easily afford um, what you're giving. You know, it's easy. It comes easy to you. It doesn't feel like an effort. So I feel for some that it feels like it's becoming too big of an effort or, or it's, it's too much to pay. It's like it's taking too much from you um, and there's not an even exchange and, and flow of give and take. Um, so these energies are coming to the surface through this lunar eclipse and they're going to be worked out. So there's, you feel comfortable in what you're paying to have that security, to have that energies. Um, within the relationship so I know it's a little bit of a uh, coming in an odd way but that is his message and his way of getting it across so that's something that's coming up is that energy exchange it's sort of uh, the flow it was kind of going like a figure eight infinity symbol and I'm coming to it so let's see what he has to say with the fortune reading cards and move forward so that was an interesting energy coming up for this full moon it's all about exchange and what you're getting in return. What are you what are you getting in return for the energy exchange? Okay, saying so no. So the first one is something you want you to know right now. We have proposal. So we see a very beautiful connection here with the two golden rings and they are enclosed they're connected there's no separation definitely in enclosure here and it says a romantic or business opportunity is indicated so there is an opportunity coming and it's interesting he says business opportunity when we're looking at the energies of finances and abundance so there's some play here on those energies of looking at it in a different way not to say you want to analyze your love relationship and your connection with love as a business opportunity but there's some energies here of abundance in some way 
in, within this. And for some, it can be that, you know, when you come into your partnership for the twin flame relationships, that you are going to be perhaps starting some sort of business together or doing something in your union um, that is related to some sort of business or connection in that way. So it's not to exclude that, but I'm definitely feeling an energy of opportunity. There's some opportunity coming here um, as well. So proposal of business or romantic. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. So there's some joint venture, let's put it that way, coming and a need to kind of bring things into balance with what you're giving and what you're receiving. And when that comes into balance, there's going to be more opportunity coming for you both. So very beautiful. The next one is something you can see, something he can see above that you're not seeing down here. You have the thorns. And this one I think came up at the end of one of my other ones. My last one, I think. I'm not sure. Um, it in, it's indicative of weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So there's some more challenges coming. Not to say that they're going to go on forever, but there's st still things to be worked through. It's like the thorns in the road. I'm seeing the rose in this corner, but there's still thorns around this energies, and so needing to work through that. This also gives me the energies of Easter time. So I feel Easter time can be important as well as in seeing seeing more light, seeing more something positive coming at that time and having worked through some of the challenges. But there are more challenges to be had that in working through those um, you are going to see more something more positive in the future. So there's a better future ahead. More positivity lies in the future and through this thicket. So there's still a bit of a thicket. It's challenges to come through. And again I'm seeing Easter also seeing the sun as the solar eclipse, it could have caused some of this bramble to come in and kind of clog things up a bit where maybe it had been feeling like it was running smoother and all of a sudden this came and I feel it had something to do with feeling like the price that you pay to feel secure in some way or the, and these energies that I had gone over in the beginning of this card, it was coming up in an odd way. So the next one is something to do for yourself through this time period, and it is mountain, and I love this card because it gives me the energy of Archangel Michael. So know that you're protected straight away, I feel a message to you, um, because of the majesty of the mountains and the color of this card, and when I connected with this deck, I just felt his energies, his messages coming off of this card energetically. So know that you are protected, and that is the message. It says know that you are protected as you face these challenges, but remain cautious. So there are challenges you still need to be a little bit cautious in regard to this connection and to guard in regards to your unions. So these energies in the beginning need still to be worked out. You are going to work through them. Um, but know that you're protected. Know that he's with you. And for me, it's all about throwing that circle of light, you know, to feel more protected. Surround yourself with that, that blue white light of his. Um, so definitely these energies and messages coming from this card. So this is something to do to feel to, for yourself is to know and feel that you are protected by him. Love it. So the next one is angel whisper something. This is a secret you do not know and we have married. So a lot of commitment coming forward for those that are guided. It says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. So as you work through these energies, um, through these eclipses and the full moons coming forward as well, um, you are going to be seeing more commitment. And it says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. So marriage or none, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. And that's exactly what you want to see. You don't only want to attract it, you want to give it as well. So you want to be giving that same unconditional love. Um, and unconditional love comes in many, many ways. I mean, it's not always what you think it looks like. So it's finding that way for each person to feel unconditionally loved by the other without being controlling, without feeling like they're paying too high of a price and they're not getting anything in, in return. Um, so you need to find that fine balance, but I feel that it's going to be worked on so you can have that sense of um, you know, that unconditional love. And the last one is something coming soon, and it is Lion, and it too also gives the energies of Archangel Michael a lot of courage, a lot of protection. <laughs> you can see his kind of fangs that are sticking out, and his tongue its like roaring, and it's um, harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. So there's the magnificent energies, the majesty energies of the mountains coming through. So there's more strength. There's more, again, protection and security as you would have from a home. 
you, you know, the energies that you have to give for an exchange for that. So it's coming, bringing those into that fine balance. So this is a very interesting message that he's bringing up for everyone that is guided through this lunar eclipse time and into this to this reading. Um, but you are going to be feeling the, the protective aura of the lion, and you're going to be charging head ahead magnificently is what he's indicating. So watching for that. But there are some brambles ahead. There are still some challenges to be worked on. You know, looking at these bringing these beginning energies into balance, but you're going to be feeling more protective, that protective aura of what I see here in this circle. So definitely feeling that. And you can see the kind of purple there matching this. So very beautiful reading, very interesting. I hope everyone has enjoyed this. I hope that you have a wonderful full moon, a lunar eclipse time period. And I will also be posting an Easter reading, I do believe. So angel blessings to everyone. Oceans of love.